guys, I'm Laura Vitali, and on this episode of Laura in the Kitchen, I wanted to share with you my recipe for strawberry shortcake cupcakes. Now, if you've been following me for a long time, then you'll know every year, the first week of May, we go to a strawberry festival in Pennsylvania, and the thing I look forward to more than any other treat is a strawberry shortcake. It's just it's delicious and I have made a strawberry shortcake cup, uh, recipe here before but I figured let's make a cupcake version of it because it's really pretty to look at, it's perfect for spring, perfect for entertaining and great for Mother's Day if you're looking for something to make for your mom or for yourself or for your family. It's both really pretty and it's got a really great flavor then these are it. Let me take you over the ingredients so we can get this thing started. You'll need some all-purpose flour, baking powder and salt, granulated sugar, I've got eggs, some, uh, some orange zest and orange juice, unsalted butter that's been softened at room temperature, a little bit of milk, I've got some vanilla paste, some fresh chopped strawberries, additional little bit of orange zest, some cornstarch, sugar and orange juice. Now these four ingredients back here, or five technically, those are going to be for a really lovely like strawberry compote that we are going to put in the middle of these cupcakes because instead of putting jam, the thing I love personally about strawberry shortcake is that it's got real strawberries in it. So I wanted to make like my own version of that and then I'm going to stick them into the middle of the cupcakes and they're going to be divine. The first thing you want to do is get your oven preheated to 350. What I have here is my muffin tin that's non-stick that I've sprayed it with non-stick spray. You can put liners in here if yours is not non-stick. I'm not going to put liners in here today because I don't want them to ruin presentation and if I spray it really well they'll come out beautifully so I'm not worried about that at all. Okay, let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to cream together my butter and sugar and I'm doing it in my big standing mixer as always. Now you could do a strawberry cupcake but that I'll show you in a different recipe, in a different uh, episode. But for me, strawberry shortcake is a classic like vanilla scone or pound cake depending on where you get it. And then you've got your strawberry mixture and whipped cream. So that's what we're going to do a play on because that's my favorite strawberry shortcake. So it's going to be a good one. I'm going to add my eggs and some vanilla paste. You can use vanilla extract of course, but I'm kind of obsessed with vanilla paste and when I want a really strong vanilla flavor, I go for the vanilla paste because it definitely provides that for me. So I'm just going to put some of that in there and then let them go. I'm going to give it a scrape with my spatula in just a minute and make sure everything is well combined so that we can add in our next ingredient. I'm just adding in my orange zest and juice. If you don't want to add orange, by all means don't. I really, really love it and I think it just gives you such a beautiful flavor. I don't know why you wouldn't want to add it, but if you don't want to, you don't have to. I'm going to also add my dry ingredients. I mix them together just briefly. Um, nothing crazy. Smells like spring, like fresh, like bright, like fabulousness. I'm going to get that mixed in and while that's happening, I'm going to slowly drizzle in my milk. That looks beautiful. Look at all the specks of vanilla and the orange. That you know that's just going to taste wonderful. I am going to just use my ice cream scoop and divide my batter evenly, as evenly as, evenly as I can manage in my prepared muffin tin. I'm just going to pop these in my preheated oven at 350 between 15 and 18 minutes or until they're completely cooked through. But in the meantime, we're going to make our fresh strawberry compote to put in the middle of these. I'm going to pop these in, clean up, and get going on that. Now to make our compote, I'm going to take my chopped strawberries and orange zest. I'm going to put them into a saucepan. Let's get that little tiny piece in there and again if you don't want the orange don't put it in there but I promise you it makes a big difference. I'm also adding in some sugar and I'm just going to cook these two together until the strawberries cook down and the mixture becomes a bit jammy looking and then I will show you what that looks like when it's there. But just keep it over about medium low heat because you don't want to burn the sugar. Uh, you want just, just to happen really nice and slowly but it will happen quickly. Smells amazing already. My cupcakes cooked and cooled completely and then all I did is I just took a small ice cream scoop and I'll show you what I did here and I just kind of made a little indent in each one because that's where we're going to put in our strawberry filling and don't worry I'll keep eating that. Mm, okay here I've got some heavy cream to the heavy cream I'm going to add in just a small splash of vanilla 
We're adding in a touch more orange zest. Again, the citrus is optional. And then we're going to add in some confectioner sugar. And then all I'm going to do is whisk this up until it becomes really nice and has stiff peaks. That looks beautiful. Okie dokie, artichoke. Let's make some room, shall we? The first thing I should probably do is get my cupcakes out of here. Oops, let me see. There we are. They pop, they should pop right out. Okie doke, so we have that, we have our whipped cream and we have our strawberry. Let's get to putting everything together. I use that same little ice cream scoop that I used to hollow them out to refill them. See, ice cream scoops, tell me why they're called ice cream scoops. I mean, they are so much more versatile than just putting ice cream, than just scooping out ice cream. Am I right? Am I right? Just going to continue to fill these up. I'm going to go back and fill some of them up um, a bit more once I'm done, once I'm done like one layer. Now I'm just going to top them with my delicious and flavorful whipped cream. Now I'm just going to top each one with a little strawberry and you don't have to do this. I just happen to have some on hand, so that's why I'm doing it, but you don't have to. I'm just going to set this aside because I really want to open this up so you can see. Oh, this is going to be so messy. Oh, can you hear the baking angel singing? Mm. Why go for strawberry shortcake when you can have a strawberry shortcake cupcake? So I'm sorry. Oh, the beautiful traditional flavors of a really good strawberry shortcake. A little cupcake version. Look at the strawberries. They're jammy and lovely, but you can still see that they keep their shape. Therefore, they're a really nice pop of tartness in your mouth, but still sweet and well balanced with the whipped cream and the really flavorful sponge from the cupcake. Go to lauraindekitchen.com to get this recipe. Let me know what cupcake you want to see next, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.